Hey everybody, this is Will with Carolina Thread Place, and we are on the next step of the Kit EV Sew Out. This one is going to be the tail of the kitty. So, let's get started. For this one right here, we're going to be stitching out the applique of, which is going to be using this right here, and we're also going to be using this right some of this right here so yay so we have the tail embroidery to put in we are going to hoop some tear away stabilizer tighten this up because it is extremely loose So we're going to do this, and since we're going to be using brown fabric again, let's change it out to the brown. And the first thing we're going to do is stitch first stitch is the applique position stitch this is your guide to where to put your applique fabric so it looks like we put the brown down first anyways and we need to make one small adjustment We're good. So the first sew out is going to be this part right here. So we're not taking it out of the hoop, but what we're gonna do is put the cream over those right there. And it looks like it is big enough. If it wasn't, that's the reason why I got extra, just to be sure it was big enough. And does not look like it's big enough, which is fine. That's the reason why I have extra. So, pin the applique fabric right side up on top of, which we're using felt. Trim the applique fabric along. Well, the second stitch will secure the applique in place. So, we're going to do this right here.
So, Okay, yep, that's right. So, since we are good, we can unpin these. We don't need these pins anymore. So we have this, looks like two hearts. So the next step we're gonna do is put them back here. And now we're going to reinforce the stitching. So now what we're going to do, carefully, do not unhoop this. All right, so this is so you can kind of see what I'm doing. We are going to tear away this part, keeping this hooped. And we are going to fold this together. because this is where the tail is going to be put together. So we're putting this whole sandwich back into here. And sew it out. happens because what do we do if that happens we 
We don't cry. We fix. So that's a good example of make sure your stabilizer is out of the way. So we're going to start it back over. And this is why we have the slow button. And this is another reason why you do not leave your projects. And this part is now completed. So We unhoop it, and I just realized that that whole thing was not filmed. So what happened was as it was doing this, it got caught in the tearaway stabilizer, and it caused a major issue back here. So I had to stop it and trim, um, remove it, and then had to, it started happening right there as you can see it's it dug into there so and then we finished the sew out after i fixed it <clears throat> so now we're going to take our scissors trim it
I guess I should have been using the beige stitches because the brown is definitely shining through. So, we now need to trim up the tail part. And something that I forgot to do in the video with the collar is we want to put some fill in here as well. But not a lot, just enough to give it a little bit of structure. I mean, I'm like putting hardly any in here, but I'm just getting a little bit in there just so that it's got a little bit of structure. So just a little bit. So there we go. So that is the collar, the tail, and the body. So the next step is going to be the head, the face. And that's going to be on our next video. So please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you have not. Definitely check the description below for the link for this file if you have not done so. And also, the letter for today is 
E. Once again, another E. So that's your next letter. It's E right there. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.